Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and today we are going to look at how Arnold blew his biceps up past the 20 inch mark using the preacher bench. Arnold actually used several different preacher bench exercises throughout his bodybuilding career, which he learned mainly from the Vince's Gym Gang and Larry Scott while training at Vince's Gym during the late 1960s when he first arrived in the US. In the previous video on Arnold, I went through Arnold's first ever biceps routine. Arnold claimed to have only used the cheating barbell curl and Zotman curls to develop his 19 inch arms and further to this claim, he claims to have never performed a single preacher bench curl until he arrived in the US. Taken again from his original publication called Massive Arms, Arnold describes his first encounter with the preacher curl. To quote Arnold, I have never used a preacher curl before. Yet, I had already won the Mr. Universe title and had at the time one of the largest pair of arms in the world. Still, something was lacking. I wasn't reaching my fullest potential. The deep fibers of my muscle were untouched. It was as if I had built a large building on top of a foundation of sand. I remember watching Larry Scott train when I first arrived in America. I was particularly fascinated watching him bomb his biceps on the curling machine. His arms looked deep and thick from the training. I couldn't wait to get to the bench and try the exercise. Almost immediately I felt a pull I never had before from the lower portion. Now for the first time, the brachialis was beginning to really be used as I started to curl and the pull traveled all the way to the finish of the movement. I like to vary the move. I've done it on the curling bench with a cambered curling bar to take the pressure off the wrists and I've done it with weeder levers so that I can get a peak contraction. Great response can also be gained from one armed work." End quote. So again, that quote was from Massive Arms, which is uh, one of Arnold's very first publications. Now I have talked about how Arnold was introduced to the Preacher Curl in Vince's gym in a past video, but after doing more research, it is obvious that Arnold learned and practiced different exercises on the Preacher Curl after watching Larry Scott and the rest of the Vince's gym crew work biceps on the Preacher Bench. Now, if we reflect on this very interesting paragraph from his Massive Arms booklet, it is very obvious that Arnold emphasizes the importance of the preacher curl in developing the lower portion of the biceps and just the whole arm flexor region overall, which was what both Vince Gironda and Larry Scott insisted the preacher curl was for. Several early photos exist of a young Arnold at Vince's gym performing barbell preacher curls, which demonstrate his first use of the preacher bench. Further, reading Dick Tyler's West Coast bodybuilding scene, The Golden Era, we find out that Arnold became so obsessed with the preacher curl bench that he would also bomb his arms at Don Peters' home gym. Having understood the effectiveness of this exercise, Arnold would begin to use the preacher curl throughout his career to blast his biceps into further growth. However, what I find most interesting is the different preacher curl variations that Arnold would incorporate and perform to allow his biceps to reach their maximum potential. Arnold mentions that he watched Larry work arms on the curling machine. The only curling machine that existed at Vince's gym was known as the Clark machine. Both Larry Scott and Don Howarth swore by this machine, and Arnold undoubtedly was introduced to this machine whilst training at Vince's gym. Although I am not aware of any photos that exist of Arnold at Vince's gym blasting his biceps with that specific Clark machine, he did use a similar machine during that time known as the Jubinville Preacher Curl Machine at the Olympia Health Club when he traveled in New York, which was again very very similar in structure to the Clark Preacher Curl Machine. In fact, Arnold still enjoys performing Preacher Curl Machine curls to this day. Arnold also talks about how using the preacher bench, he would exercise his brachialis. It is probable that Larry Scott taught him this particular exercise too, as a quick search on Google Images will immediately confirm this. 
the preacher bench was not only used for performing regular supinated preacher bench curls, but Larry was a big advocate of performing reverse preacher bench curls, which are excellent at targeting the brachialis muscle. Arnold, of course, would adopt this exercise too. Further, Arnold stresses the importance and benefit of performing dumbbell preacher curls, as was also performed by members of Vince's gym. Although Arnold would specialize for a while on the preacher curl and its variations during his time at Vince's gym and later at Gold's gym, Arnold would later adopt other exercises and apparatuses such as the arm blaster, which I will talk about in a later video. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video on the different variations of the preacher curl that Arnold was taught by Larry Scott and the Vince's gym crew, which he used during his bodybuilding career. I'm always impressed at the impact that the Iron Guru had during the golden years of bodybuilding, including the king of bodybuilding himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now that you know the exercises Arnold learnt, maybe you can incorporate these into your next biceps workout. If you have enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Golden Era Bookworm if you haven't done so, and please leave me your comments. Just a question, do you guys perform the preacher curl? What about the different variations I have listed today which Arnold used? Have you ever tried those? Leave me your comments in the comment section. Anyway, that's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying, Bye for now. And for those interested in learning the secrets of Larry Scott, Vince Geronda's top student and first Mr. Olympia, head to my website for the most extensive range of booklets on Larry Scott's bodybuilding methods. Everything from bulking up for beginners, specialization courses and advanced courses, as well as preparing for competition, all available at www.goldenerabookworm.com. The golden era of bodybuilding was born on the sandy platforms, rusty rings, and blistering high bars of Muscle Beach, where young men and women performed feats of strength and gymnastics, igniting a fitness boom that would reverberate for decades. By the 60s and 70s, the golden era was in full form, spreading like wildfire, and engulfing a new generation of bodybuilders who wanted nothing more than an all-natural, well-rounded physique. This lifelong pursuit of physical perfection created legends, including a young Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno, the golden boy, Larry Scott, three-time Mr. Olympia, Frank Zane, and the Duke of Delts, Don Howarth. These men all had one thing in common. They all trained under the legendary iron guru, Vince Gironda. Vince believed above all else that bodybuilding was 85% nutrition, and he scoffed at anyone who took shortcuts to achieve their fitness goals. At NSP Nutrition, we hold true to our roots and maintain Vince's spirit alive by sharing his belief that all you need to achieve greatness is the right exercises, the right foods and supplements, and the right attitude. At NSP, you'll find all of Vince's training manuals and books, as many diets that pair perfectly with these exercises. And of course, small batch, high quality production of Vince's original supplements. All our products are clean, superior formulas made from earth-grown nutrients, free of harmful chemicals, added sugars, and toxic preservatives. We make no compromises, take no shortcuts, and accept nothing but the best. Because the moment you decide to get back into shape or want to accelerate your gains and win your next competition, NSP will be by your side to help you achieve your personal health and fitness goals. That's how we maintain the spirit of the Golden Era Champions and honor the legacy of our founder, Vince Duranda. Simply put, our customers trust NSP Nutrition and they appreciate what we stand for. Once you become a customer, you become part of the NSP family. This is NSP's commitment to you.